Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia in Spain. Sun is shining. We had five millimeters of rain, a fifth of an inch. We also had six chicks yesterday. So we doubled our number of chickens. Amazing. And when the sun is shining, then the solar panels can provide energy to the batteries and the batteries can provide energy to the pumps. Pump is doing its work and this water comes from the cistern and um, this whole area up to where the soil is, the soil across this canal uh, is a what is called a mina, a mine and uh, the whole thing fills up with water so I pumped many many thousands of liters so far and the water has dropped 40 centimeters so that is brilliant excellent and when I stop pumping it actually comes up half that which is even better So beautiful. So the water gets pumped from there, goes through this underground pipe up to there where that white water tank is. Let's see how it's doing. Here is a dozen of small oak trees came up by themselves. I don't know if it is from the roots of the dying oak here or from the seeds and uh, it's just beautiful for me to see this, pay attention, let them grow. That time of the year. This hundred thousand liters water tank is swelling up nicely. I think we are halfway there and uh, it will actually lift itself all along the sides, the four sides away from the earth and uh, only the middle part will be suspended or the areas around will be suspended and the middle part will be solid on earth the water enters there in the middle there's no pressure against it that is always the highest area and next to it's the breather and here is the outlet an amazing sight i like it the fence is up but not tight that will happen in the next few days but at least my dogs chickens animals cannot get there excellent 
soon we will start to transplant our cuttings. We will either pot the smaller ones and the big ones we will get into the land straight into the land um, it's not my thing to nurse these things for too long I know I can do much better but uh, at this stage my philosophy is either you grow or you don't and uh, we will do that. This is what the whole farm used to look like. And some of this sister's brush. It's over my head. So this is almost two meters. And then we have cleared big areas and this is what it looks like once it has been cleared. So this whole area was cleared two weeks ago. And um, when people ask me, what do I plant here on the farm, I say water and roots. But here I have removed all the roots. Why did I not just cut this sister's brush? And the answer is actually simple. Um, this sister's brush is extremely hard and uh, in this area they make quite some uh, furniture from cork and then they use this sister's brush an area like this cut it and they sharpen it as the nails to put this uh, cork furniture together now should I cut it here I leave that tremendously hard and sharp ends sticking up I did it all along the fence initially and it went through my boots several times and I have decided no thank you I will take them out. It's actually also easier to take it out, but uh, some person last week asked me whether we have uh, wild boars here. I say, why? He say, look at the land. I say, no, 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 we did it. With the help of some ladies from the town, they did an excellent job. Now we have to do something with it. This is our next study. We have about uh, 50 kilograms of various seeds. And we just want to see which ones, when, if, where, why. And here the farmer's wife is working hard, collecting stones. Because this area was also cleared from cystus. This is what it looks like one here after being cleared. A lot of regrowth of the cystus took place here, but we have removed it. Are you working hard? Yes. Wow, looks great. This is what the regrowth of Sister's brush 
looks like one here after removal we try to remove them now before they flower and seed again and that usually works well to eliminate them this is the battlefield here is all the brush we have removed why remove it somehow this brush the cystus has a vested interest in eliminate, eliminating the growth of this home oaks because the more shade there is the less space there is for them so uh, we try to find a balance we have quite a big area on the farm maybe 25 percent under the cystus still under the cystus and we intend to remove this perhaps next year and then the farm can stay with the current cystus so an experiment to see if trees like this make use of the opportunity to grow better there are quite a lot and uh, that's a good sign they must grow we are using this cystus to fill our swales to prevent or cut down on evaporation and then we also put them in the swales quite high to as a windbreak especially for this hot and dry wind coming from this area the northwest and also we stack them against the fence next to the garden we still have to do a proper job there and use it as a protection against the hot and dry wind we have pruned most of the fruit trees and uh, I must still pull them upright and uh, most of them were too small to actually take real cuttings for the next generation but uh, in some cases we did get cuttings especially the mulberry and the albaricoque the apricot this is a, a grevilla um, and this is a jacaranda this acacia and the grevilla are more or less the same height and uh, acacia i planted two years ago from a seed and this I bought a three year old tree for uh, almost 20 heroes just amazing how the acacia how well it grows here excellent it's not the acacia it's the jacaranda my head por favor our tree cuttings from our own plants and then this vine will be pruned and guided i'm looking forward to that till next time goodbye